I'm Merry Christmas. I live in Euclid. I came here in 1968 and I lived out here for a couple of years. I was lucky enough to be living in Spring Cove. Tommy and Mary Komodo were my landlord and my landlady and that's still a huge part of my life to be going to Spring Cove almost every day and being involved with them. It was an introduction to the beach and that's when I found all my glass balls. Well, not all, but some of my glass balls and became entranced by and enriched by the beach. Moved to the mainland and camped out here for eight or 10 times a year until I moved back in 2000. I, I grew up camping when I was a little kid. My dad was a game warden and my mother was an artist. She painted and painted with um, sand. I think they inspired me because my dad taught me to look and my mother taught me to see. You're out on the road or you're out in the bush and daddy says there's a fawn over there and you have to look hard to find it and then and then mother would describe how it looked how it felt what it did to her and the beauty in it she also introduced me to the historical concept of the fawn and what it might grow up to look like and some of the magic in it, but it was magic to see it too. She was addicted to art and addicted to doing it. And she was outstandingly wonderful and did, did it with love. She had more patience than anybody I know, like her sand paintings, you put a layer of glue down on top of what you've designed and then you have to do layer after layer after layer after layer after layer. <laughs> the found stuff for me is I can't bring it home unless I'm going to do something with it. So after I get all this stuff here, I have to do it. And then I've taken a lot of pictures. I, I make cards out of my photographs and sell framed things, created frames for my pictures, as you can see from here. Day after day and month after month and year after year, when I picked up stuff and brought it home, I thought, well, this is crazy. I've got to do something with it. And so I began wondering what I could do with it. And I created things out of it, displayed things out of it. Like I love all my whale bones and my other bones. And, um, I guess part of me feels like this house is art. It's what I do with it. <laughs> I worked in mental health for years and years and years and um, ended up working with the elderly and became involved then in the seniors housing here. And because of that, I did these books about the community which the money goes back into the community. So I did those four books and with the help of a lot of people, the whole community and plus people who knew computers, which I don't and won't, because I went on to the committee to build seniors housing here. We were talking about fundraising and it came from that. Then I just ran around and talked to everybody in town uh, with their permission. <laughs> the first two were cookbooks and so we have wonderful recipes in the cookbooks. Then we did a music book and then we did one more which is nice things that happen in Euclid. And so probably for me the most important thing that happened in for the book was um, Donna Tucci telling me that when she was a child her father 
sent her into the bush when the airplane came to pick up kids to go to residential school and he told her and her siblings to stay in the bush and not come out until he told them to come out and they were to be quiet and so he told them to come out after the plane left. Wow, that's heavy. Well, I think it was the most important thing in the book and somehow I didn't make it that way, which I feel bad about. I'm sad about the tourists. I'm sad that they don't appreciate this place and that they take advantage of it and leave their garbage. I picked up garbage on the beach every day for years and I was amazed at the things people left. I found this on the beach. I don't know why people can't respect it. That makes me sad. So I'm not worried about not finding much anymore because I can't do much anymore. <laughs> but uh, it's sad. I also did the uh, a book of my photography because of this place. This is the inspiration, I think. Yeah. It's the sound, it's the smell, it's the things you see and the, and the way it makes you feel. It's being here. And, it, and there wasn't one thing, it was just it. I couldn't create what I create here anyplace else. I couldn't be anyplace else. Oh. I just, um, after I lived here for a while, I just wanted to come back and back and back. And this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. You wake up in the morning and you can see the sunrise from the front porch. Yeah. At night you can see the sunset from the back porch. And from my bedroom, you can see the moon. <laughs> what else is there? I suppose I'm more focused on who helps me with mine, like Sydney, mm -hmm. who has done wonderful things with me and for me, and Jan Dresky. Um, I started selling my cards to her uh, before she had the new store helped her move in the new store, but she was also instrumental in the books because she's the chairman of the board now and also she sells the books and arranged everything to get them published. I can't focus on one person or one no, thing no, because nice. it's part of the whole thing for me. I've never really thought about it. I just, it, it's part of me and it's what I do, or part of what I do. I used to be a fantastic cook, but I don't do that much anymore. But just try and do the best with what you have. We had a farm and we raised and provided most things in our house, in our lives. And I don't know. It just sort of happened. These things have just sort of happened to me. And then along the way, there's a lot of people who help move me. And well, I'm not building it for myself. I'm building it because I have to use this stuff. <laughs> you can't have it in a box. You can't have it in a corner. You have to make it real. Mm -hmm.